I never passed the Poodle Palace with its parber pole in the shape of a striped to be ribboned bone and the sign specialising in large and matted dogs without remembering the bitter wonder of the taxi driver from somewhere in India who asked me, what is that Poodle Palace? What does it mean? And when I told him, laughed, and for blocks laughed intermittently, a laughter dry as fissured earth, angry and sharp as the ineradicable knowledge of chronic famine, of human lives given to destitution from birth to death, a laugh in which the stench of order simmered, round which a father flies, hovered, a laugh laughed to himself, whether in despair or hatred, and not as a form of address. He was indifferent to whether I heard it or not.